Hey guys, welcome to the Mo and O Show. My name is Omar Gonzalez. And I'm Mo Morales. And this is the Mo and O Show, a podcast where we talk mostly photography, but we also talk tech and uh, movies sometimes. And comics and, and stuff comics. like that. Hey, we never talked about Joker really quick. <laughs> And I want to I want to touch on one thing on Joker. The thing that struck me about Joker, besides the all the awesome stuff we talked about, is the visuals. So mm. since this is a photography channel, the shot where remember in the beginning when he gets hit by the sign, mm -hmm. and he's you know uh, in the movie. Those of you that didn't see a Joker is uh, um, what's his name in there? Uh, who knows? Henry. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, we're gonna say Hank. No, it wasn't Hank. It was something. Arthur. Arthur. Yeah, 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 Arthur. So Arthur works for like the, the people who flip signs. Clown sign. for hire. Clown for hire, he works exactly. Works for clown for hire who, who rent out clients, clowns that do different things. Yeah, so in the scene, he's in an alley and he gets hit and he falls to the ground and the camera pushes in with, it must be like a, a 80 millimeter 1.1 lens, mm -hmm. a cine lens, and the bokeh in the background looks amazing. Just melts away everything. Melts away and the color grading was beautiful. Yeah, that's, and that's why I noticed. That. I love the way they 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 dark graded it. They loved, yeah, they loved it. Yeah, and and I think uh, when there's a couple of YouTube videos on it, but they talk about how color and cinematography in that movie went with his mood. It was all like muddy, and and when he's sad in the beginning, and then when he's the Joker later, there's brighter colors. Right, his outfit's brighter, he's brighter, everything around him is graded just slightly different, totally. but enough that you could pick it up if you're looking for it. Yeah, and and uh, I'm starting to watch a lot more cinematography videos on YouTube to help with my photography, and this might be helpful for some of you um i'm like fully always researching photography and sometimes it just is overload uh, where i want every modifier i want to try every lighting excuse me <laughs> let me finish my point so i've decided to look at other genres to sort of release myself from <laughs> Uh, Poor choice of words. Uh, I'm adulting in my yeah, head. Yeah, yeah, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just look at other avenues that will help my photography. And that's what the finger went up for, is I was going to commend you for being smart enough to know that so many different things in life can be applied to so many other things. Yeah. Like, you know, how to swing a golf cl uh, club, you could apply it to so many other things in life, and not necessarily the actual swing portion, but the concentration of the follow-through of it. You know what you're describing right now? What's that? Mr. Miyagi. Mr. Miyagi. Oh, wax on, wax on, becomes a block and an offensive punch in the face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Don't die on me. Breathe, breathe. I've been diving deep into two realms. Number one is DP, the directors of photographies, watching their videos, cinematography, how people light scenes. Mm. And think of movies like um, Schindler's List, for example. If you watch Schindler's List as a movie, you don't realize it's lighting. But if you watch it as a sort of lover of cinematography, you start to see how Spielberg used, or the director of photography for Spielberg, we'll put that name up here. Uh, the lighting they used was for that time period. It was all really harsh Hollywood lighting. Mm -hmm. The shadows are really hard. And then you watch something like the incredible Miss Meisel, the marvelous Miss Meisel on Prime, and man, you're talking the, about that. I haven't watched it yet. Dude, just watch it for the cinematography and the lighting. It is beautiful. That's why I brought up Joker, is because the color grading in that and the the use of certain lenses gives a look, and you can apply that to your photography. I've been watching stuff like um, along the lines of that. So Verge or something put on something that they normally wouldn't do. And it was, a, it was actually sitting down with a cinematographer. And, and he explained how if a director uses a wide lens, he's trying mm. to tell this story. Yeah. If he uses a, a, a zoomed-in lens, yes. he's trying to you know, show isolation and stuff like that. I'm like, you know what? Never thought of that stuff. Yeah, for photography. And, and then it, it could be applied. Yeah, I got another perfectly. one for you, bro. Got Don't another one. Don't worry. I'm Wes right. Anderson. Do you know him? Mm -hmm. I'm not even know. <laughs> The way he uh, composes everything is he puts people in the middle. Everything is in the center of the frame. Composition-wise, I use that all the time. I put my subject in the middle. As long as there's things on either side that are leading lines to the person in the middle or um, anything that is around that has symmetry, but using cinematography like that, totally, totally helpful for photography. And that's going to be a title of one of our clips is going to be How Cinematography 
can help your photography. Your photography. Watch a lot of movies. Watch how they light them. Watch composition and try to replicate that in a photograph or a portrait. Here's what I suggest to what you're saying. Find a movie you like and yeah. you don't know why you like it. And then don't watch it for the movie. Watch it for what's happening, what's being what's being portrayed through the context of the lens. Building we may up. ruin movies for people because uh, I know when I watch movies now, I'm watching, I'm seeing how they lit the scene uh, for lighting. Like, for example, I, mo a lot of movies seem to use uh, the available light, just mm -hmm. like Flash. They use the available light and then they must use some kind of like Hollywood, those big scrims they mm -hmm. use. And so people are kind of evenly lit with the background. But, yeah. but you're not going to ruin movies for people because no one cares like you do. You know? Oh, yeah, that's true. You have that next, next level of A, A plus in you that uh, they, they don't have out there. Neither do I. But cool. Anyway. All right. So to wrap up this little section, um, we're going to call this how this is an example of how we can make a little video, how cinematography can help your photography. Thanks for watching, guys. Hey, have a good one. <laughs> All right, well, we're not going to end the show, but we can have a little jingle between our conversations. Ding, ding. All right. <laughs>